Hello, today is all about Rovaniemi in Finland. From Helsinki, we flew up to Rovaniemi, the capital of Lapland. These soft sunset views were just teasers on the beautiful sunset that welcomed us as we set foot outside. On the way to our accommodation, we enjoyed this winter wonderland view with a spectacular sunset as a backdrop. At around half past two, we have arrived at Hostel Cafe Coti, where we stayed for a couple of nights. Here's a quick room tour. Here's my favorite seat in the room, and this is our view. This door leads to an elevator which is very unique and fascinating. My first time to encounter one of this kind. I'll show you. Open the door, enter, press the buttons as per usual, then the door moves as it moves floors. And we're out. Cool, right? Date check, it was 24th of December, Christmas Eve, so we decided to venture out in the cold in search of a proper and fancier meal. Restaurant Neely was fully booked when I checked it online, but we still tried. True enough, it was. But after around 5 minutes, one of the staff followed us outside and told us someone cancelled but we only had, I think, an hour for dinner. Deal. We took it without hesitation. 
The restaurant is known for serving the pure taste of Lapland and we're so excited to try it. One of the must tries when in Finland is the glogi, a Finnish version of mulled wine, also known as glog in other Scandinavian countries. It is made from hot red wine and different spices such as cinnamon, sugar, and clove. Other versions sometimes add almonds and raisins. There is also a non-alcoholic option of glogi. For the mains, it was a fish kind of night. Our picks were salmon and cod. As for dessert, one of our pick was a spruce shoot crumb brulee. But the star of the show for us was a traditional lapish squeaky cheese. The sauce was creamy and milky, and when the cheese gets soaked in it, it becomes a bit chewy and squeaks when you eat it. The cheese itself is made from cow's or reindeer's milk and has a pleasantly sweet and fresh aroma. It is either baked or grilled until it has a toasty brown skin. So yes, we definitely loved it and highly recommend it. That was one delicious Christmas Eve dinner. The squeaky cheese was the perfect finale. Believe it or not, at this point, it was only 4.14 p.m. So we decided to explore the Rovaniemi Center. Rovaniemi is the capital of Lapland region in Finland. It is an urban city surrounded by Arctic nature and is known as the hometown of Santa Claus. The town center has three shopping centers along with several specialized shops and boutiques that cater for all preferences, from fashion and shoes to sports equipment and classic Finnish designer brands like Marimekko and Litalia. Lordi Square, also known as Sampo Square, is a famous square and a central meeting place in Rovaniemi. During summer, it is a popular festival and concert venue, and during winter, a skating rink. Across it is one of the shopping centers, the Sampo Kescus Shopping Center.
now we're back at the home base. Before calling it a night, I'll show you the common areas of our accommodation. Good morning, they check. It's 25th of December and it's Christmas Day. Merry Christmas! Started the day with this breakfast fair care of our hostel. Jen had porridge and I had sandwich. At 10.45 a.m., we're on our way to the city center. It is day 4 and no news from Finnair regarding Jen's luggage. And her thick jackets and snow pants are in there. Good thing there are winter gear rental places in the area and we are on our way to one of them. Now we're ready to visit the highlight of the leg of this trip, the Santa Claus Village. While waiting for our cab, I examined this real-life Christmas tree, did a bit of souvenir shopping, and found this tug that I had to buy because yes, I've crossed the Arctic Circle!
It was freezing outside, so we had to make a stop at the reception area. This is also where activities are booked, check-in for accommodations are made, and a dining area as well. Our lifesavers from the freezing temperature outside are these, hand warmers and toe warmers, a definite must-have. Fully equipped, we're now ready to explore the village. Some fast facts, entrance to the Santa Claus village is free. It is open every day of the year. You can meet Santa Claus for free, but photo is for a fee. You can cross the Arctic Circle from here. Various activities may be booked and availed such as the reindeer sleigh ride, husky rides, snowmobile ride, snowbun world to name a few. Being a village, there are options for accommodations within which we will visit in a while. There's also a vast array of dining and shopping options around the village. As for this trip, our main agenda was to explore the village, cross the Arctic Circle, send postcards, and meet Santa Claus. Without further ado, let's explore the village.
This is a sign of the Arctic Circle that runs through the Santa Claus Village. It is clearly marked where one would literally cross, though it was all covered with snow at that point. The Arctic Circle marks the southernmost latitude where the sun can stay continuously below or above the horizon for 24 hours, phenomena known as midnight sun in the summer and the polar night in the winter. At this point, we were really hungry and we had our eyes and tummies set on burgers. Queue was long and finding a seat was difficult but after a while, we had our cheeseburger combo. Now it's time to meet and greet Santa. I'm not sure if it's just because of the holiday season, but it took us two hours in the queue in this dark area. Lots of patience required in this activity and understandably, a lot of kids gave up halfway through. Finally, we met and greeted Santa and had our photo taken and printed for a hefty sum. Time check, almost 5 p.m. and we're on our way to our next agenda. Go to the post office and send postcards. Steps in sending a postcard all over the world. First, choose your postcards, price at 1 to 2 euros. Number 2, pay for the postcards and the stamps. 3, write your personalized message. And lastly, drop those postcards in the mailbox. We send ours across the globe to New Zealand, United States, and the Philippines. All received successfully within a month or so. All items on our agenda checked, we did some souvenir shopping, and at quarter to seven, we headed home.
good morning a day after Christmas at 8.25 a.m. We went to the airport to pick up Chen's luggage. At 10.10 a.m., we have checked out from our accommodation and we're headed back to Santa Claus Village. Yes, we decided to pay it a visit again. This time, the weather wasn't that kind to us. It was gloomy. This is the Arctic Circle and there's supposed to be a marker here where one can actually cross. Imagine me crossing it now.
after some time, we had to bid this Winter Wonderland village goodbye and on to our next stop, Sariselka, Lapland. Thank you for watching!